What's going on guys? Welcome to another Historic gameplay video. Uh, I really enjoyed Historic yesterday despite losing like a lot uh, and so we're gonna try some more stuff today. Uh, you may um, look at this deck, it's a Bant Enchantment deck and you may be wondering, you know, with Amon Ket remastered out, uh, why why aren't you playing ooh, a little more of that? Um, and you're right, I should be, but I didn't. So today, uh, we're trying out this little thing. Uh, it's kind of fun. I really like this deck. I've only played a couple games with it. Uh, I had okay luck. Uh, didn't win every single time, but uh, it could really, really go over the top, which was fun. So it is Bant Enchantments. It is focused, obviously, around just getting a lot of enchantments on the battlefield, drawing a lot with things like Core Spirit Dancer as well as Season of Growth. Uh, and then going over the top for the win. Uh, and it's got a lot of tools to help you do that. So uh, in terms of creatures, let's look at that first. We have the Life's Bounty, of course. Not only does it give protection, but it has lifelink. It's a 1-1 one, one for 1. It's great. Uh, we have Core Spirit Dancer, which is really one of the big engine cards of this deck. This is, essentially acts as a beater, but also a doubled up Season of Growth. Uh, so it allows you to draw a lot of cards uh, and absolutely powerful. So uh, a zero two for two, it gets plus two plus two for each aura attached to it, but every time you cast an aura spell, where it, wherever you're casting it, it doesn't have to target the spirit dancer, you also get to draw a card uh, if you would like. Um, we also have Starfield Mystic here as a way to cheapen up all of our enchantments. Whenever any of them are put into the graveyard, this gets a 1-1 counter. So this is kind of on the back side of the beating. Uh, if, if, you know, for whatever reason they remove a core spirit dancer with a lot of enchantments on it, uh, you get all of those counters back on the Starfield Mystic and then you can still kind of, uh, beat face if you need to. Uh, Transcendent Envoy, another way to cheapen up a lot of our aura spells, but also just a flying threat. Um, it doesn't look like much, but uh, again, with a bunch of these enchantments on it, this is a very evasive and very, very potent threat. Uh, it's, uh, that's it for creatures, actually. That is all we have. But uh, in terms of enchantments, we have a one of Curious Obsession. This is really, really cool. Um, this essentially means you have to attack with the creature every turn, but if it deals combat damage to a player, you get to draw a card. Um, that's very, very good uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, the fact that it gets to draw a card is really, really nice. It also gives it plus one, plus one, which is good. Um, we have All That Glitters, uh, as well as Ancestral Mask. This is an old, old card from Mercadian Mask. Such a cool one. Uh, but uh, both of these essentially give really, really strong boosts for every enchantment on the battlefield, uh, of which, obviously, we have quite a number of them. So... Uh, really, really strong cards, and these are essentially the way that you're hopefully going to power up enough to be able to just win on the spot. Uh, I know I got, with Ancestral Mask on a Core Spirit Dancer along with some other enchantments, I was up to like an 80-80 uh, core spirit dancer just in play testing, which was amazing. So I'm hoping we get to do that again. Uh, we also, like I said, have Season of Growth as a bit of a uh, engine card for this deck. Uh, super, super powerful. Uh, Satessin Training is a way to give Trample and also draw a card. Trample is really, really important, especially once you get to the point where you've got a really strong Spirit Dancer, but they've got, you know, just Mana Dorks or something silly on the field. Trample is really what's going to set you over uh, the top and get that damage in. Uh, and then Staggering Insight gives Lifelink, uh, does the exact same thing Curious Obsession does, plus one, plus one, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you get to draw a card. Uh, this doesn't come with the stipulation that you have to attack every turn, though. Uh, if you don't attack every turn with Curious Obsession, uh, you have to sacrifice the Obsession, which is kind of lame. Um, but as far as lands go, we are at 23, um, and I'm not going to go through them because there's just so many different ones in Historic, but uh, you can essentially kind of look through uh, the description and, and get there with that. Um, the idea here is, though, with everything being cheapened up with Transcendent Envoy as well as Starfield Mystic, you can pretty much get everything down to one mana um, in the deck, aside from like Core Spirit Dancer, obviously, um, and Staggering Insight because it's got two colored mana. But that's kind of the idea. Uh, and then once you get to that point, you just one, one land, play an enchantment, one land, play an enchantment. As you're playing those, you get to draw more cards. It's crazy, crazy efficient. Um, whether it really works or not, we'll find out. Uh, it did work a couple times, but you know, it's it's not perfect, so we'll we'll figure out what we're gonna do here as we go. Um, we'll keep this. It's not amazing. We kind of have to fetch for a white source uh, to make sure that we get the the glacial fortress down untapped here. Um, but you know that's okay. Let's go ahead and do that, and we will pass. 
And again, I, I want to preface all this by saying I am not a historic player. Um, we learned that yesterday. Uh, and so I'm going to do the best I can, but certainly understand that I am not going to be uh, perfect at this. And there are certainly going to be a lot of issues as we go through um, and misplays on my end. Uh, looks like we're against the mill deck. Uh, this is a very cool deck. Or, uh, excuse me, reanimator deck. Uh, let's go ahead and get a core spirit dancer down and get that train rolling. Um, next turn, we don't, I mean, we could either play a Transcendent Envoy or just like a Curious Obsession. Um, and probably we just do the Curious Obsession, honestly. Um, yeah, this self-mill deck is sweet. They did attack in. Um, let's go ahead and throw this on there. We'll take that action. That's great. Uh, that just means we get to do this. And we'll play a Season of Growth. We're kind of setting ourselves up a little bit here. Um, we won't have a ton of time, it's worth noting, uh, just because this kind of deck is looking to win very quickly, I believe. Uh, this is self-mill in that they've got Thassa's Oracle. It doesn't look like they've got Reanimator so much, um, which is perfectly fine, uh, but we do have to be very, very cautious um, against a deck like this. Ooh, that's great. Uh, let's play you out. Let's play you out. Uh, yeah, we'll draw. It's fine. And let's play you. We'll take action. All right. Uh, so we are a turn away from winning. Uh, granted, they probably are about a turn away from winning as well. I'm actually going to decline the draw here because we do have to discard a card. Just get rid of a Fable Passage. Um, so we are a turn away from winning, but chances are, oh, well, we got there. I guess they just didn't have a way to reanimate, maybe? Works for me. Uh, well, that was a very quick and efficient win. Let's jump in a game two. Uh, I love that. I love the fact that you get to go over the top with Core Spirit Dancer. I love that card. It's a, it's a personal favorite of mine for Historic, and this is just such a fun, efficient deck. Um, and not crazy expensive in terms of wild cards. I did have to open up some packs to like get everything that I needed, but uh, a lot of these little enchantments are just kind of uncommon, so it's really not all that um, expensive, uh, which I like. Uh, this is like an okay keep. It doesn't have any of our big engine cards uh, in terms of Core Spirit Dancer or Season of Growth, but we can turn one Bounty and then turn two Insight to kind of just start uh, poking away. Depending on what we're against, that may not be good enough, um, but we're going to give it a shot. So uh, let's throw this out there and life's bounty. <clears throat> um, also very thankful we have a lot of lifelink in this deck uh, because it does kind of keep us alive. This is obviously going to be kind of an aggro-y deck, um, and it's really helpful to have so much of that lifelink along the way. Yep, Soul Warden. Looks like the uh, kind of a Soul Sister strategy. This is a really cool deck, no doubt. Um, hmm. Let's play you. Um, hmm. Let's play this, actually. Let's just see what they do. Um, kind of want to bait them into attacking with everything before I just throw this staggering inside out there. Uh, and maybe that's not correct. I don't know, but we'll we'll find out as we go here. Yeah. <clears throat> this is such a cool deck, uh, no doubt. Um, hmm. Let's do this. And let's do this. And we'll attack here with this. Uh, chances are they just block, and that's fine. Oh, I guess not. That means we get to draw a card. That's nice. Um, I mean, we're going to take a big hit here. There's no doubt. Um, these, the, the fact that this gains so much life so quickly is just ridiculous. Um, thankfully, this Envoy really, really helps, but we're not in a great position. There's no doubt about that. Attacking with both of those. Um, I'm going to say no blocks. Uh, don't know if that's 100% correct, but <clears throat> that's so good. Uh, this looks like a really fun deck. This is one that I'd like to uh, play around with. 
Uh, let's do this. Yeah, that's fine. Resolve. Um. <laughs> yeah. So many triggers. Um. Let's do this. Uh, we're buffing up our our envoy here, which is kind of why we're doing this. Yes, resolve all. Uh, I am gonna attack in. Big hit there. Get us back up to 20. Draw us a card. Um, we'll play a land. And we'll go ahead and take the opportunity to throw this out there. And we'll end the turn. Alright, well. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to block some stuff here, no doubt. Uh, potentially just this, but we'll see. That's just so good. My goodness. Okay. Uh, wow, they are trading potentially Soul Warden here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to get rid of that Soul Warden. Um, that's just a problematic card, so I think that's fine to do. I mean, we're not in a great position here. There's no doubt about it, but... Yes. <laughs> this is so... This is a really cool deck. I really, really like this. Um, okay. Uh, unfortunately, didn't really get there too much on that, but uh, we do get to... So, we're going to attack in. Get a hit in. We get to draw a couple cards and gain some life. Please give us an enchantment. We did not get an enchantment. That feels terrible. Uh, well, Core Spirit Dancer and Starfield Mystic. It's the best we can do. Um, we really, really needed an enchantment there so we could start piling them on the Core Spirit Dancer and then draw some cards. Um, so unfortunately, that was kind of just a bad, uh, a bad luck draw there. But that's fine. Yep. Yep, yep. Resolve all, that's fine. We gonna die. Yep. Resolve all. Um, I mean, we live this turn. That's the good thing about this. And they have to be very cautious on the swing back here, to be fair. You could have just hit attack all, but sure. Um... So let's do this, and let's do this. Let's define blocks, and then let's sack this and give this pro white. Um, so we mitigate all that damage, um, and we keep the Starfield Mystic. I think that gives us the best results possible. And now we're in the best possible situation to be able to win, but chances are we won't. <laughs> um, yeah, that doesn't really do it. Um... I mean, we do play it out uh, because it does pump this up. So let's go ahead and attack in. We gain or gain life, draw two. Oh my goodness, we are just getting very unlucky. Um, very, very unlucky. Uh, again, we're like holding off each turn, but we're not really getting anywhere. <laughs> um, yeah. <clears throat> This is a turn, though, where they really do need to worry about the swing back, I think. Um, so we can block these two. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Do we just die, though? I think we just die. Um, let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Yeah, so we have to block with everything here, which really sucks. Um, so that's there. That is going to trade that. So let's see. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So that leaves us 2 life. Um, so we have to get super lucky. <laughs> there is a way we could win. I mean, 100% we could do it. Uh, if we draw, like, Ancestral Mask. <laughs> We could draw a card off of Ancestral Mask, really buff this guy up. Jesus, that's insane. Alright, that was really cool. 
Okay, uh, that's actually a really good start. It draws us two cards, which is good. Not a good draw. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Seriously? Man, uh, well, we just hit a lot of lands. I mean, we lose, there's no way around it. Um, but we're gonna draw our cards and just see what happens. Just because. <laughs> just gonna see what we can do. Uh, let's play that. Let's just play this. <laughs> All right, let them do their thing. Uh, yeah, unfortunately we just didn't quite get there. We drew a lot of land. Um, and for having 23 lands in the deck, you would think we'd do a little better, but that's okay. Minus 55. That was worth it. <clears throat> that was worth it. All right. Let's move into our very last game. So far, we are one and one. Uh, still really enjoying the deck, I will say. Um, and I think that was more unlucky in terms of our draws. Um, I think we played about as well as we could have expected to. Um, there was a way that I'm sure there was a way we could have been more defensive, but... Um, I didn't really like the idea of being defensive when they've got a Johnny Pride Mates out because we can't outpace that unless we just get really lucky, um, and we did not. So uh, that's all there is to that, apparently. Um, we'll keep this. Uh, kind of lacking in terms of enchantments, uh, like auras in particular, but Core Spirit Dancer plus Curious Obsession is pretty good. Uh, let's do this. We'll get a white source here. Um, Dreadwander. So, zombies? Uh, I'll just do this and play the Core Spirit Dancer. My guess is they're pretty removal heavy. Uh, it looks like just a zombie tribal deck if they're playing Dreadwander. Yeah. Um, obviously no blocks. Alright. Uh, let's do this. Let's tag it onto this. We'll draw. Okay. Um, and let's do this first. Let's just attack. See what happens. Um, might have been able to, or might have been a good idea to play the Starfield Mystic out here, but I don't know. Um, just in case they were able to just kind of kill that, uh, that would have been a bit of a problem. But let's go ahead and play it out now. I think that kind of is a misplay. Uh, thankfully it worked out, but this just gives us a backup plan. If they kill this core spirit dancer, we've got Starfield Mystic um, to not only pick up the counter, but cheapen up the rest of our stuff here. Uh, good, okay, so let's do this. Let's do this and let's do this. All right, and we'll attack for seven. It's a pretty good swing. Yeah, I was gonna say that makes a lot more sense. Um, I'm gonna Fable Passage here because we do really want to uh, thin our deck uh, as much as possible and just get a bunch of stuff out. Sure, very good. All right, let's go ahead and deck thin. Um, what do we actually want here? Uh, I'm just gonna say a blue. It doesn't really, I, I think, matter all that much. Um, ooh, that's terrible. All right. Let's do this. Thankfully, can't block this. They are getting, to, they're gonna get to a point where they're kinda gonna need to block this. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, death touch, duh. Uh, Should have given it pro black. That was a mistake. Whoops. Uh, I always forget that this grants death touch. That was 100% just a mistake, but that's okay. We learn, we learn. Um, man, Death Baron, very, very good. Yeah. That's fine. Um, yep. All right. Um, <clears throat> what's our best bet? We have to do that. They can probably kill this also. 
Um, but that's definitely our best bet. Ooh. Wow. Well, that was just good. Okay. Well, that's not so good. Um, we throw that out there. Blech. So I think we just lose. We can attack there, get him down, but that's not really going to do anything. Yeah, I think we just lose. I mean, we definitely just lose. They just have more stuff. I'll go ahead and concede. Well done, opponent. Um, definitely a misplay to not sack the life's bounty to give that protection. That was 100% just a, a wrong play. Uh, I completely forgot about the Death Baron's Death Touch thing. But um, anyway, either way, I, I really do like this deck. I think this one's really fun. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this one. Uh, we will, of course, do three more games with it, so you'll get to see another video very, very soon on this one. Uh, I really do appreciate all the support lately. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the new thumbnail as well. We're going to stick with that, I think, for a while and hopefully move things over uh, graphic-wise uh, in that direction. But I uh, really do appreciate the support, and thank you guys for watching. I will see you very soon for part two. Uh, of this really, really awesome Bant Enchantments deck. Thanks for watching, guys.